There is a revolution underway in artificial intelligence. Think driverless cars and increased factory automation. But one thing critics have long argued is that robots lack that human touch. Well, a San Francisco startup has created bots to work in sales departments, and the messages the bots send seem so real that people think they're human. Eric Chemi has our story. You sound cute. Got a picture? Nicole, you're beautiful. Are you single? I love you, Jen. These may sound like messages on a dating app, but they're actually real emails people have sent to sales reps at places like car dealerships, insurance companies, and education firms. The problem? The sales rep is not human. They're actually artificial intelligence bots offered by AI company Conversica. She has a name, she has a title, an email address, a phone number, and she reads and writes emails. Alex Terry is the CEO of Conversica. We have over a thousand companies that use Conversica. They get to choose the name. But it sounds like some names are better than others. And what we tend to find is female names outperform male names in general, not always, but in general. And most commonly names that were popular 24, 25 years ago tend to do pretty well. The most popular names for the bots are Jenny, Ashley, and Jessica. Jeff Dietrich heads business development at Curry Toyota in Watertown, Connecticut, where they use Conversica's technology for a bot named Holly. She will respond right after uh, an opportunity comes in, within four minutes. No vacations, no days off, she's going. So she's probably your hardest worker, right? Uh, that may <laughs> cause an argument if I answer that loud enough, but uh, she works pretty hard. Dietrich says all that work costs much less than a full-time employee. Getting your own bot starts at just $3,000 per month and usually brings in a double-digit return on investment. Is there ever a situation where we've heard this at other places, for example, competitors want to hire her away? Yeah, they can't have her. She's ours. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Making the bot seem that lifelike is what Conversica strives for. The personality of the assistant is very friendly, very conversational. We even make grammar mistakes on purpose. That helpfulness means customers sometimes want to meet Holly. Every once in a while, you'll have someone come in and say, I just spoke with her, you know, and you know, you can't tell me she's not here. I just got off the phone with her. Nine times out of 10, though, this is Jeff. He's Holly's supervisor, and it's fine from there. And that brings us back to asking the bots out to dinner. We don't continue Do saying, sorry, you were suckered into a talk no, to a robot. Totally you know, she just stops. Off. And Conversica says because the technology is so good, the bot's emails get more responses than those from humans. But don't worry, humans will still have jobs. Terry says because the bots can help figure out who is actually interested, sales often increase, leading to more job openings. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eric Chemi.